three minutes of screaming terror on the savannah, after which it's either over with you or over with. Dateline everywhere. As high-profile bankruptcies and buyouts rattle the economy, oil prices surge, and the home mortgage industry shows no sign of resuscitating, at least one commodity has a predictable future. Stress. Last week, Forbes released a list of America's most stressed out cities, including all the usual suspects, Chicago, New York, Detroit, LA, and San Francisco. In other words, America's financial capitals are freaking out. I'm Rob Getchman for LinkedIn, on location at the Stanford University campus in California. I'm here to talk to Dr. Robert Sapolsky, professor of biological and neurological sciences, whose National Geographic special on the science of stress airs September 24th. For over 30 years, Robert has studied baboons and shared his insights in books like Monkey Love, A Primate's Memoir, The Trouble with Testosterone, and Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers. Since Robert is an expert on baboons, I knew he'd possess keen insight into the professional workplace. What would cause stress in a professional? If you're a normal mammal, stress is somebody's about to try to eat you, and you're bleeding, and you're in pain, and your innards are pouring out, and your body's going to solve that problem. Or if you're us, and you're typically stressed, you're just thinking about something. It's paranoia, it's anxiety, it's depression, it's a sense of psychological dis-ease with the world that gets translated into physical dis-ease. So there was a distinction between being attacked by a lion and worrying about a receding hairline, or a bad economy, or no job security, or that colleague who just got promoted over you, or that nagging SEC investigation that just won't go away. Been there. Are there simple, practical things professionals can do to avoid stress? It's got to actually be something you do on a regular basis. You know, save your stress management for the weekend. It's got to be an active, ongoing sort of thing. Don't avoid an ulcer by giving it to someone else. Corporate hierarchies are just built on displacement all the way down. So, if you want to find a good stress reducer, make sure you're not generating stress for someone else. Perspective is one of those things that everybody lectures us about and is actually kind of useful. If you're not stressed in the slightest, try being a medieval peasant if you want to think about stress. Try being, you know, some farmer in the developing world. I guess the last piece of advice is do not ever, ever get gored because you can go septic that way. So watch out for the printer. Exactly. No fast moves around it. It sounded like expert advice. To borrow a phrase, don't let the baboons grind you down. I could already see parallels to the corporate hierarchy. They're just like us. They've got the ecological luxury to invent psychological stress. And when I started doing it, I was like this 20-year-old wannabe alpha male, whatever. And all I was interested in then is what does your social rank have to do with how your body works? And it's taken me 30 years to figure out far more important than that is how often do you groom someone? How often does someone groom you back? How often do you sit in contact with someone? All that stuff much more predictable health in your rank. So professionals can reduce stress by grooming each other? Without question. Where you actually are in your great, big, messy, horrific corporate hierarchical world doesn't matter anywhere near as much as your perception of it. Number one, do you have friends? And that's actually a scientific word when we talk about other species. If I have 2,000 friends on MySpace, I should be okay, right? Primates don't get a whole lot of solace from 2,000 friends. Should I be stressed if I only have two connections on LinkedIn? I'm wasting my time talking to you, then. what can I say? Looks like I had my work cut out for me. As the song says, you're nobody till somebody loves you. So if you're feeling stressed out, remember to keep perspective, don't get gored, and most importantly, find yourself somebody to groom. Mm -hmm.